Tens of millions of people living in North America experience a once-in-a-lifetime celestial event yesterday as a total solar eclipse carved the path from Mexico through the United States and into Canada. For up to four and a half minutes, the moon completely blocked the sun, bringing a disquieting darkness to the day. But as Tony Waterman explains from Austin, Texas, clouds almost eclipsed the eclipse. It was an absolute nail biter right down to the final moments because there were mostly clouds covering the city. But at that very last, most crucial moment, when Austin reached totality, the clouds briefly broke and that bright ring of fire could be seen in the sky. And that, of course, eliciting cheers from the crowd of about 5,000 that had gathered here in downtown Austin. There was complete darkness here, like it is in the middle of the night. And it lasted for about one minute and 40 seconds, although other locations on this path of totality saw darkness for about four and a half minutes and the sight of it, especially because so many here weren't really expecting to see anything because of the cloud cover was very emotional for some. I was so excited that the clouds came and went and then they went at the perfect time. I mean, we saw the Corona. I was I really was touched. I was touched very sentimental. It was dreamlike for me. Uh, I was not expecting that. I was focused on looking at the at the sun and I was surprised that actually the darkness is the beauty of the eclipse and the way it makes you feel. I spoke to one family who traveled here from Chile. It was their fourth total solar eclipse, and it still brought tears to the mom's eyes. For most of us, though, this really is a once in a lifetime experience. This was the first total solar eclipse in the central Texas region in more than 600 years, and the next one is not expected here in Austin for another 300. And this was just one of hundreds of watch parties held across the United States, but other solar watchers opted for something a bit more unique. In Arkansas, more than 350 couples tied the knot moments before total darkness. Others took a once in a lifetime flight tracking the path of totality. Total solar eclipses aren't all that rare. They happen about every 18 months, but having it over a continuous stretch of land, Mexico, the United States and Canada is giving scientists an opportunity to carry out research they normally wouldn't be able to do. NASA, for example, they fired off some rockets so they can measure the impact of the eclipse on the upper atmosphere. This is something they're not going to be able to do, at least in the United States, for another 20 years. Tony Waterman, CNA, Austin, Texas.